Unfortunately, it's not raining heavy today. But even before that, just a few weeks ago, we had around 50 <laughs> people joining us. And I, unfortunately, I forgot to count, but it looked like we had at least 30. And it is very important for us to see that people continue joining us through the weeks. And it's not the same people. Every time we have new people joining us. So it means that it is working, it is helping, the word is spreading, and people are understanding that it is important for everybody to get involved. Because it's not just Ukrainian problem. It is a problem of our world that another country can invade another independent, sovereign country. And it's still ongoing for three weeks. Today, on Wednesday, the invasion of Ukraine started on 24th February. And today, for three weeks, people in Ukraine were suffering. And right now, there are thousands of dead. And we are not talking about thousands of army people dead. We are talking about civilians. We are having major humanitarian crisis. And we are people right next to Europe. We are not a part of European nations, but we are fighting hard for European values. We are fighting for the freedom, freedom of choice how to live our life, and freedom of what way we want to choose. And we choose not pro-Russian way. And we said it clearly with our hundreds of years of history. We've been under oppression, but we we fought back our independence in 1991. And we've been independent for 30 years, but Russia didn't like it. And they invaded us back again in 21st century. So what we are standing here right now is to stop this atrocity. And with all the help from all the people around the world, it could be happening, but we need to have it sooner than later because it's been already three weeks. People are dying, women are dying, children are dying, unborn children are dying. Other cities are ruined. They are rooted through the ground. And if you don't know, just go ahead and check Mariupol. They are having literally the genocide of our people. They are not opening green corridors. People cannot escape, and if they try escape, they just shoot them. It is people without any weapons, without anything. So please, continue raising your voices. Please go ahead and call your congressman, because the rising prices, it's not the choice of people. It is all because Russia invaded Ukraine, and it is logical way of face to shut down trading with Russia. So that's why for every voice fighting for paralysis, we need to have a voice fighting for Ukrainians. Because only together we will be able to stop it. And it helps because we've been able to have the sanctions against Russia. And we need to continue imploring more and more until they stop. We have we are independent country. Our people are fighting hard. So please help us as you've been doing this for three weeks. Continue doing that. Continue calling your congressman. Continue asking for more weapons with which we'll be able to close the sky ourselves. We are fighting hard. Our army is fighting hard. Every person in Ukraine is doing what they can because even women and children they do what they can because unfortunately it's our reality so please don't let this happen to be your reality thank you